Homelander. Hey everybody, Christopher Rudd here, welcome back. This is Operation Shattered Skull. Uh, we need to extract a VIP from the Advent City. That VIP in question is Stanislav Golubev. And uh, he's a scientist, which will help. The 94 Intel will help as well. Uh, but more importantly, we get some experience for these guys. Uh, Mr. Fields, who has recently changed his profession to a grenadier uh, based on his backstory. Uh, Mr. Magic Mike, who has lost his magic, is now just a regular old assault. But uh, I'm pretty sure that he's gonna... Like, what I'm really intrigued about with, the, with this um, class is this flesh or flesh -a or flesh. I'm not sure how it's said. Um, but the farther you run, the more damage you do. Like, that's, that could stack pretty huge, I think. And then we've got uh, two ladies from India. We have Korpal and we have Sari. And I'm excited to see what they bring to the table. Korpal's a little bit low on the health side, but that's okay. Uh, I figured out why this screen doesn't show the skills either, even though we have the mod installed. Uh, the one mod that it conflicts with is the Long War Toolbox, of course. So I don't know if there's a way around that. I would love if I could figure out a way to make that work, but um, I'm assuming if the mod creator can't figure it out, I'm not going to be able to. Menace, ready to deploy. But uh, yeah, we'll have to do things the old-fashioned way. That's fine. We're moving in for an emergency extraction of a VIP working for the resistance. The spokesman provided the coordinates, but the rest is up to us. Locate the VIP and escort them out of the area safely. Goes without saying, but don't leave any hostiles standing. I don't think I've ever seen this little preview before. So, is this... This might be a custom map, which would be pretty cool. I'm... I don't know, but do custom map makers have the ability to choose whatever is showing here? They must, right? Because it's part of, like, the... I guess that would be part of the map. Plus, we're not getting dropped in here, so I think Menace this looks five, target custom, incoming. which Secure is sweet. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Okay, Bradford. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Okay, no concealment. We do have 16 turns, though. Uh, that seems like a lot, but this is really far. So, I wonder if this is at the discretion of the map maker as well. Or maybe something was changed in a patch. I don't think I have any mods that are that would change the um, the timer, but uh, I'll take what I can get. Okay, so let's start moving. Um, I think the ideal move here is that we go above this and then uh, fight, hopefully, some things around this area, and then move along over here peacefully. But um, you know, that's base best case scenario. Mr. Fields. Actually, let's not lead with you. We should lead with, uh, let's lead with, not Priya either. Let's lead with Jasmine. She's got four health. She's Whatever a rookie. It's kind of part of the job. Looks fine. Um, I think what we'll do Finally. is we'll just file everybody in close to her. Commander. If we get stumbled upon because we don't have concealment, so. then we all get overwatches, um, which would be ideal, obviously. We may have to, if, if we start losing time, we're going to have to make some concessions on the nice-to-haves and take some risks, but, uh, yeah. Okay, um, Mr. Mason. Any action here? Nope. This is good. We do have a, an entry point right there, so this could work out pretty nicely. Hey, I'll go. She is sassy. Are you hearing I that? Can handle that? Okay, I'll go. Just remember, like, you know, we could get rid of you at any time. To although we totally need you. Listen to her. Come get some. Come get some. It's good when you're talking to the aliens like that, but just tone Moving it down a little bit watch. for the commander, okay? I'm in place. I've got movement here. Got action close by. Okay. Seems good. Around. Need a bit angle. Seems safe to come up top. What's over there? Uh, she can't quite reach. Seems doable. 
Keep your head down, Gog. Golubev? Golubev? I'm in position. Probably not even close to saying that correctly. Uh oh. From the side. Oh, that looked like it might have actually been a good shot if it was an inch to the left. Guys up top? Oh no, no overwatches. Uh oh. Danger town. We're actually, we're close to the... Oh no! Uh oh, we got two groups. Okay, that was good, whatever that was. Oh, we killed a trooper! Oh, through the rooftop. Nice shot. Damn. Okay. Well, we're in a bit of a situation here. Uh, he has no cover. His one, his cover got blown out. I don't know that... It's four across. One, two, three. I don't think we can get both. Sometimes the the floor will fall out in dramatic ways. It's possible. We may, we may not even need that, so... Oh, we're in a bit of a weird spot here. Okay, I like this. This is an amazing grenade that you can launch. Um, what I don't like is that you're not in full cover. So, flesh or fleshe, or f I'm, honestly, I don't know how it's being pronounced. Look at this. If we run way out there. We could one-shot this guy. 82% chance. Man, I say we go for it. Come on, Mason. Oh my god. That's huge. That's huge damage. Yes! That is like... Okay. I actually think that's a really good way of balancing the swords. It's very risky to go like full extension like that, but look at the possible damage. I oh, love that. That's actually a really cool trade-off. Okay. Okay. Um, what I could do is I could bring Trevor up top and blow out all this ground beneath these guys, and these guys die. Then... I could bring Priya up over here. We have a good shot on this guy. Probably in the 70-ish range. What's her aim? 56. Yeah, so probably like 70-something. And then... Uh, oh, we have a shot from here with Jasmine, too, so we get the height advantage on him. Still in half cover, but still, I think that's probably our best bet. Uh, let's bring Trevor up. Moving. feels a bit wasteful because this guy is exposed. We should be able to kill him. But uh, that's two. If we do this and everything works out, uh, that's one launched grenade for two groups. I feel like that's pretty much, that's pretty worth it. Let's just hope that this takes out the floor like we need it to. Is this going to hurt us? Uh, no, okay. We do have a point down here that we can we can get down from. Actually, we can just always just jump off, too. We don't need a point down to worry about. Grenade. Let's go, Professor. Boom. That'll teach him. Eh? Professor jokes? Okay, Priya. Yes, that'll be okay. We could use your grenade. I just feel I don't feel like ooh, 61. Hold on. No problem, boss. It's actually not that great. And 69. Uh, I hate to do it, but actually, I don't even know if this is gonna help. It's not gonna blow his cover. So, since we're going to shoot with 
Jasmine anyways. We may as well take this shot. See what happens. Okay, well, there we go. That answers that question. I will take the guaranteed kill. Grenade out. Good work, Priya. Good work. Good work, good work, good work. All right. Okay, so let's take this opportunity to gather up top. We still have 12 turns. Um, Copy that. This is good. I like this map. It's pretty, uh, like, obviously when there's high ground involved, it's good. You're going to like it. But I like the fact that it's kind of like a really tight cluster. Um, there could be enemies, like, right underneath us. There could be enemies across. Like, it's, I just like it. I think it's interesting. Different. We're green to go. We're green to go. Reload. Cover. Okay, now let's uh, let's advance. Let's bring Priya up. We have 11 turns. There's going to be at least one more pod, maybe two. I don't know if there would be reinforcements or not. Good to go. Definitely could be. Let's bring Mike Got up. It. Moving. I'll bring the professor. Ah, you know what? Let's not risk Keep it. Moving. Keep him in the back. Okay, we do have action nearby. So let's keep the professor mobile. Um, let's lead with Jasmine. Ooh. Ooh. We we definitely have something happening. What's over there? Look at that. Right around the corner. That's like a blessing. We get that little sneak peek, you know? Let's move already. Um, let's keep him in the back. Ten turns. We're really kind of whittling this down, but I feel like we should have more than enough. Oh, here we go. Overwatches? Yes. Nice. Man, this... I really like this squad that we have so far. Obviously, they're pulling out some amazing shots. We've missed our fair share, too, but still, um, generally, they're doing pretty awesome. Okay, now, this is a bit of a situation. Oh, look at Flesh again. It's, like, just on the cusp of where we can go. I feel like we have to use that. The other option, we could run and gun to there as well and use the shotgun, but we don't get the damage bonuses, right? I'm doing it. This is such a cool skill. It is risky, but I feel like we're only going to have one or two pods left anyways. Oh, the fucking sword curse. Negative damage. Shit. So that's actually bad now. It's actually not good. Um, he's in full cover, which means our chances to hit him are not superb. Um, oh, I wonder how he's going to... What he's gonna do down there? That could be a I bit of a, a bad problem. I don't want to have to use my last grenade on this tiny little soldier here, but okay, I'll go. Priya, attitude. Check it. Uh, come on. Ah, uh, this is not good, guys. Okay, Trevor should have pretty good aim from up here. I just don't know how that sectoid is going to react. Ah, this isn't great. There we go. Damn. The odds are that one of those would hit. Um, just stay cool, Golubev. I'm really nervous about what this sectoid is going to do to us. Oh, he's raising the deck. Okay. So, the question is, um, is this the last enemy? 
on the map. Priority one. I don't... Uh, I have no idea. But I think we gotta do whatever we can to take him down. Because if he is the last one, and we don't use the grenade, then we wasted it. So, I'm gonna go for it. Frag out. Clear out the wall, guaranteed damage. Maybe we can kill him with the sword to finish, but... I swear, man, swords are cursed. They really are. Like, you miss such high percentage chances with swords all the time. Look at this. This is still a better chance than the shotgun. However, if I were to get right up close, our shotgun chance would be increased. But, it's only 4 to 6 damage. And he's got 7. Yes, 50% to crit. Fine. But, that's a dice roll. I'd rather take the guaranteed damage, if we hit... Um, and go from there. Come on, Mason. There we go. All right. Whoa, you see that? And that's the thing too, right? Is like, yeah, okay, it's eighty percent to hit, but you're still one in five of those long rushes that you're gonna take, where you're like, you're banking on that huge damage. One in five of those is gonna miss. And when that happens. Whatever you it's say. Not good. I actually. Sh oh. Okay. I, I, I Seems guess safe. that'll be okay. Um, Priya. Like, do you want to talk about something? She's very. I'm not gonna say bitchy, but she's bitchy. A lot of attitude coming from that one. Affirmative. Covering now. Something coming. Okay, I don't know if that's all of them. We actually have a, a... We have to go around this way. If you say so. No problem, boss. Why can't you be more like her? She's way nicer. On the move. Professor. Let me bring we'll you in so. here. Scanning. In position. Covering now. Okay. We have to go up and around. What's over there? Please God, no enemies. Ten four. I think it's working. I think we're just gonna make a dash for it here. On it. Boom! Is okay. I thought maybe we'd have another group here, but here we go. VIP Everybody out. Position for evac. I'll take it. I was really worried about that uh, that missed sword attack, though. That could have been dangerous. Close range? Yeah, okay. Loves being a turtle, Golubev. Classic. Classic Golubev. Unluckiest and bitchiest is Priya. The most high is Jasmine, probably just to put up with Priya. Hates troopers the most and made the most attacks, Jasmine. Okay. Cool. Well, it was good to get to know Priya and Jasmine. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, a little concerned about Priya's attitude. Hopefully, she gets that adjusted soon. In the Boom. Field That's nice. Encouraged the crew. So, uh, second level of Grenadier. What do we have going on here? Uh, heavy Ordnance, which I'm obviously attracted to. Steady Weapon. Uh, is that really that good? The nice thing for him is he's got solid aim. So you can look at this two ways. Number one, uh, it takes him up to 96 aim, which is nothing to laugh at. Um... Number two is that if you did have lower aim, then you might consider doing that. I don't know. Formidable. Your gear includes an extra layer of protection, granting one uh, a bonus point of armor and 66% less damage from explosives. The armor early is nice, but I think we gotta go heavy ordnance. That's three grenades early on. That's pretty huge. That's pretty big. I think I'm gonna go heavy ordnance. 
That seems like something the professor would invest in, you know? Okay, uh, so we've got an assault. This, oh yeah, right, he's already an assault. Um, now we've got three different things to choose from. Raider and Breacher. Raider, close combat specialist. What did this say? Fire a free reaction shot with your primary weapon at any visible enemy within four tiles who moves or fires. Will not trigger if the soldier is concealed. May shoot at each enemy with this ability once per turn. That's like the old school close combat specialist. That's cool. Close and personal. 30, uh, plus 30 crit chance against adjacent targets. Bonus declines with distance from the target. Plus 30 crit chance is huge. Or formidable, so he can have armor. That is... Oh, man. Those are... That's actually a really tough call. I would consider formidable because of the fact that I'm running this guy right in there. And that armor, with that little bit of damage reduction, could be significant. Close and personal is nice. Combat specialist is really nice, though. I f I'm going to think about this, but I find it... Oh, sorry. I find it really hard to um, not go combat specialist here. Let's see what she becomes. Okay, so we've got a rogue. That's cool. Uh, the rogue is back. And uh, it's got the, the classic rogue kind of thing. I, I incorporated the rogue class because um, I like the idea. And I think it's balanced in the fact where... You want to maintain concealment, so you're almost like... You're taking out a soldier there purely to scout. Like, purely for... Um, you know, to support, like, your sniper. And I kind of like that that combo. Um, we don't have the three skill trees, but uh, that's okay. I like having a rogue. So we've got blindside, and it gives us a reason to use uh, SMGs as well. So, very nice. And then, sorry, Shinobi. Slash, Fleish, or Flesh, and Phantom. Very cool. So, both the Rangers and Shinobis have swords. Uh, the Ranger has the run and gun. Or no, is it Ranger? Assault. It's Assault. Um, the Assault has run and gun. Like uh, Mr. Magic Mike here. And the Shinobi has concealment, so um, once you they progress, we'll start to look at the trees a little bit. Leading the resistance, Commander. Thank you for sending additional support staff to assist me, Commander. I will make sure they are put to good use. Yes, I know you will. I know you will. Um, we have a, f a, f a small amount of supplies here. I'm hesitant to do this because he did kill our entire squad one time, but we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Alternate timeline. Your average trooper, but I doubt our forces will have I'm going to hire Tobias Batch. Test subject for Tiger to look at, especially since he's not asking for a live one. There's not a whole lot that surprises me these days, but I'm definitely curious to see if the chip we pulled from the commander really is connected to the ones Advent's been using in their captains. So, people say Toby lost it after learning that Earth's governments had surrendered to the aliens. Others say that he was always a little touched, but either way, he has roamed most of Northern Europe, executing jabbers wherever he can find them, adding a notch to his gun stock with each alien he extinguishes. Let's just say his gun is now a very notchy thing. Oh... War Dancer. I'm changing your nickname, by the way, to, um, on Twitter, I said something else. Um, what could we call him? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let you guys decide. I'm gonna let you guys decide what we should call Tobias Batch. And if you're like, why is Tobias Batch important? Um, he was the one who caused the failed mission, uh, that I put up on YouTube where he like threw a grenade at two of our guys on high ground after panicking and then killed them both and then got killed on the same turn. It was a disaster. Um, so alternate timeline, fine, but I'd like to change his nickname to kind of match something from that. So if you guys have ideas, let me know and in a couple episodes or so, I'll get that updated. But he is on the squad. I would also be open to suggestions on how we should... Um, ensure that we are hiring enough people because 
I do tend to focus on like a power squad and I'm really going to try to keep this this campaign as balanced as I can. Um, on the next mission, I still think we're in an okay spot to maybe take out a corporal, a squaddy, and then two rookies. Uh, but after that, I don't know if we always want to take out two rookies. I don't even know if we can afford to. Um, maybe we just want to, for a while, we always want to take out one rookie kind of thing. I'm not sure. Um, the other thing is once we get the Kirilla Tactics School up and running, then we can start training guys um, in there so we don't have to take out the rookies. But And we can actually choose where they go as well. We can train them as whatever we want. So, All right, let's get going. Stadium. So more supplies. That's actually great. Um, that's actually great. This is probably go probably going to sit. Uh, oh no, we didn't finish doing that, and that's fine. We can leave that sit until we have like nothing to do. Oh, it does expire. I didn't know it expired. Maybe it's just the mission that doesn't expire. Okay, well, let's finish this up. Because we're not going to be able to do um, uh, Shen's Last Gift or the Alien Hunter's mission this early. Like, we'll just... It will, it will be like... Everyone's dead, you know? You and I both know we only had one other Sky Ranger, Commander. Oh, it's this is just the wear, weapons. This okay, used to cool. be Big Sky's pride and joy. And someone's been putting her to work. That's so cool. It may be possible to triangulate exactly where they took off from, but it'll take some time. Commander. These weapons are unlike any design I have previously encountered before. I could attempt further analysis, but the likelihood of us reverse engineering them appears yes. low regardless. Remember what Tygen said. These new weapons are one of a kind. If we leave them on the battlefield, they'll be lost to us forever. Yeah, including the frost bombs, which is actually devastating. Um, but now... The charges in this grenade don't seem all that powerful, but according to Shen... The liquefied gases inside should lead to an instantaneous freeze effect. Yeah, so we can carry out two frost bombs, which is massive. That, like, buys us time to survive. Um, but if we lose if we lose fields, we lose frost bombs. And that happened to us on the last campaign. We lost the guy with the frost bombs. Um, that sucked a lot. Okay, so I thought that that was to uncover the mission. Sorry, I'm not very familiar with the, how the DLCs all play out because... Um, when I had, when I enabled the Alien Hunters DLC previously, we had, like, a ton of mods and, like, uh, I think we did it mid-campaign. I can't, yeah, I'm pretty sure we did it mid-campaign. Um, so a lot of that's, like, fresh to me and that's, I'm excited by that, obviously. So I thought that that was going to trigger the mission, but, uh, no, I was wrong. Avenger, I'm happy to be course. so. But those other missions, when they do come up, um, we'll, we won't be doing them right away because... We gotta put ourselves in a position to be successful. Okay, so um, we don't have any supplies. We're gonna get some supplies here. But what I can do is I can continue clearing this stuff out. This would take, uh, this would give us supplies and alloys, which is nice. How long does this take? So 60 days, I mean, that's pretty insane. My idea was to, was to go down, but I actually think the right call is to go sideways. It just takes too long. Yeah, like, how, how can I not? Plus, that's income. Um, yeah. 60 days, Jesus. You know what? Maybe... Maybe what I do... How long is this one, the Alien Debris? Okay, so that's 30 days. So I'll tell you what we'll do. And I'm open to suggestions as well, but... I'm thinking we'll, we'll do this one, because it's only 10 days, right? So that happens soon. Then I'm thinking what we'll actually do is... We'll build a workshop here so that we can actually use the uh, the gremlins for extra engineers um, in all of these slots. To, it, we can clear them out, we can do whatever we want. Um, but I think that would be worthwhile. 
sometimes things just don't work out the way you plan. Um, but I think if we go, let's see. So if we go Advanced Warfare Center, uh, Power Relay, Workshop, Upgraded Power Relay, then we're going to need resistance comms. And then then we could go into uh, psionics. I'm thinking that's probably what would make the most sense. Um, but, as always, I'm open to, uh, to your guys' thoughts. A lot of you guys have probably played a lot more than me and have, like, really nailed down building strategies. Um, even though I've played tons of XCOM, I still, like, I don't do things the same way every time. Um, it's just not in my nature. Because I have a terrible memory. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think every situation is different. These findings will nice. likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Okay, so resistance comms and resistance radio. Uh, resistance radio is nice because for we can kind of invest money to make money, and I, I like that approach. Um... We could do the sectoid autopsy. I don't see any reason for us to do the, the advent officer right now. We get the proving ground, but we're not going to be able to build it for a while anyways. Um, the only counter argument to that is maybe we build that instead of the advanced warfare center. But the advanced warfare center gives us the bonus perks. So we kind of want that up and running. Um, I don't really care about any of these guys right now like maybe a battle scanner but real i don't think it's that important um so i'm thinking what we'll do is we could do the sectoid autopsy but that's really only gonna unlock psionics right uh where is the sectoid autopsy right here so psionics and a mind shield um we're going to need Illyrium to do Psionics anyways, which we don't have, so there's no point in doing that one. Uh, so maybe we just grab Hybrid Materials and work on Resistance Radio, or we could even just rush to Mag Weapons, but I think, I think either of these is good. Let's do Hybrid Materials. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Commander. We can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the globe. Once we've collected sufficient intel to make contact, we'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. Commander, we've got local resistance forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. So, in here, um... I could build the Advanced Warfare Center if I had a little bit of extra supplies, but we had to hire that guy. <laughs> um, would it be a terrible thing if we just built our power relay now? When is our month going to tick over here? Where are we at? Oh, supply drop's coming in one day. Okay, well, let's, let's hit the supply drop then. Um... 55 here. Both of them make the same amount of money. Let's see. I mean, I'm in no rush to do that mission. But I guess it doesn't... It honestly doesn't even matter which side we choose here. After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Commander, using intel collected so far, we've managed to nice. locate a resistance cell operating out okay, of this region. Okay, so Dr. Dermot It'll Gibson and Alina Jansen position, Got an are available. Communication coming in for you now, Commander. You have made Guaranteed reinforcements against the or intel costs being increased. Month, Both are not I great. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Commander, we have intel suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct a real commander. Nothing oh God. on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification Massive system. signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. 
It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved. Multiple Crumb. radar contacts on approach to Here it comes. Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today, you've got incoming on approach. Your signal's breaking up. Outline territories to end this scourge once and for all. They're right on top of you. Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again. We will ensure your continued safety and well being throughout this crisis. Get your people out of there! With your cooperation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace and prosperity. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. Whoa! Here it comes, guys. Oh, I don't know if we're ready for this. This may be a single rookie mission. Commander, we have a squad ready to move on the Resistance Haven currently under siege by the aliens. Operation the Bonesaw. We'll move out. Okay. Let's clear the squad. I'm thinking... Our sniper could be quite helpful. Uh, Mr. Fields with all the grenades could be really helpful. Although I wonder if we need two frost bombs. I almost wonder if we just take a single frost bomb here. Um, yeah. I'm also thinking that with Mr. Shadow here. Ah. It's a tough one because the way I typically use a sniper is that I like I don't move them a lot so I don't know if we're gonna benefit from snapshot as much as we would benefit from precision shot plus 30 to crit chance and extra damage if we crit that's all about just critting but crit chance is good and we just use that guaranteed every three times I don't know. That's a tough call. I'm not going to go return fire with him. Severe range penalties beyond five tiles of squad sight range on all shots. You know what? I'm going to go with snapshot. It's going to give us more options. We don't have to keep him as far from the group. He can be far from the group for squad sight, but if we want to keep him moving around, then he becomes really mobile, and uh, I can get into that. So, Mr. Walker, you are in. Uh, Mr. Fields, you are in. Uh, who else? We could bring in... our Shinobi. Could do that. Do we want to bring a rookie? This is, this is a big risk to take a rookie on a terror mission. Uh, retaliation mission. Um, I think we'll take our other grenadier. We're just gonna blow things up. And then let's take... Let's take our shinobi. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so, um, with our professor here, what we could do is take out the bolt caster. It may only provide a single shot action, but this thing hits hard. Even an edge hit could potentially stun the target. Yeah, 20% to stun, that's fine. Get an extra 15 aim, so he's actually at 90 aim right now, which is outstanding. Uh, what else would we want to do? 
Do the shinobis have pistols? No. Swords, no pistols. I think we'll go shotgun, though. And we could go hunter's axe. Why not? Maybe a little unwieldy, but in the right hands, this thing should cut down anything standing in your way. All right, so we've got the frost bomb. The only thing we don't have is the pistol. We can give that to uh, Mr. Walker here. Guaranteed hit. We'll take it. This one is sighted in. There's no excuse for missed shots. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna take out this squad. Uh, Walker, Fields, Carter, and Sari on our first retaliation mission. Wish me luck. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. The world you once knew is no more. Earth is now ruled by the Advent Coalition and their alien masters.